In this video, I will show you how to use the match function in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. So let's head over to my other sheet. I'll demonstrate how to use the function here. The match function looks like this. It takes two or three arguments. The first one is what we're searching for. The second one is the array or basically the range of where the data is that I'll look into. And the third one is sort of like a flag. It could be either 1, 0, or negative 1. And it designates how the search will work. And I'll get into each one of the three cases. So currently, I'm telling the function to look at cell E4, which I put the value 1. And I'm using a 1 as a third argument. So what this does is it'll look into the range I told it to, which is from C4 all the way to C23. I'll look for the number one. And once it found it, it returns the relative index of where that number is. So in this case, the index, obviously, it's the first number in my range. So if I change it to have it look for something else, let's try looking for the number nine. So now the formula result tells me, okay, it's at index 10. So far, so good. Now what happens if I tell it to look at the number eight? If you notice, I have the number eight repeated three times here. So we'd either expect it to give us the index of seven, eight, or nine, and we'll see what happens. So the result, it's giving us the number nine, which is this one. Basically, it's the last repeated eight in the column. Now, what if we try and have it look for a number that doesn't exist? So I have it look for six. As we notice, there is no six here. I have my column sorted in ascending order, but it returned a result of five. And this is how the behavior is. It'll give the result that is equal to or less than what we have it look to find. So since five is the closest to six, consider this as a match and return the index five. So the crucial point, when we're using one as the third argument, we have to sort our values in ascending order. That's an assumption and it's actually a prerequisite to use it. Now when the formula doesn't have a third argument, it's the same as if we use the one. So by default, it'll just use that. And if I demonstrate the same thing, it'll give the same result. Now let's test with a negative one. It requires that we sort our data in descending format. So we can go to data sort descending. So I told it to look for number one and it gave me index of 20. Now what if I tell it to look for number 21 which actually doesn't exist and the result is this one and that's because I'll return the number that is equal to or larger than what I asked it to look for. So there is no 21 then I'll just go to the next number up in this case, it's here, and it gave me the index of 1. Now let's try looking for the number 8. Since 8 is repeated three times, we'd expect it to either give us index of 12 or index of 14. So we see it use 14. This is a little bit similar to when I was using the type of 1 instead of negative 1. It basically gave me the index that's higher, if that makes any sense. All right, so now let's try zero. Zero is for exact matches. And when we use a zero for the type, we actually don't care about the sort. So I'll leave it here as descending. And we'll try different values. Let's see what happens. So I asked it to look for eight. And it actually gave me index 12. And that's because it's the first occurrence that it found a number. Let me have it look for number 21, which doesn't exist. And because it's looking for exact value, there is no 21. So it gives us an A, kind of like an error result, which is what we'd expect. So we'll try it again. We'll look for number 10. That doesn't exist. Now we'll try something that does exist, 15, and it's at index 6. Now one advanced thing we can do when we're using the type of zero in the match function is we can actually use regular expressions or wildcards. That would be a topic for another video, which I'll link to at the end of this video in the description below. For now, I'll move this back to using my cell. 
And also advanced function is it's possible to search for text. So I'll link to the official instructions in the description. But for this video, I'm keeping it short and I'm done covering the three types of one, zero, and negative one for the match function. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I recommend you to watch my other video about how to use wildcards in LibreOffice Calc. Just click the end screen link and I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and as always, stay nifty.